I'm so glad you lived. <laughs> you really had me concerned. It would be terrible for all the bastards to do great and the lead intern to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. We went for a walk, he never came back. That's what we have to say. We went for a walk, we don't know, he never came back. And then a little yellow mushroom walked in the room. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> the garden gnome came to life. <laughs> Heidi, I'm so glad you came to this event. You've been a blessing here. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. It's a simple topic. It's not a big deal. It's not about food, folks. When people start asking you about food and health and nutrition, it's so much not about food that it's easy to lose track. It's really, I'm astonished how many people get so focused on the food, they start giving food magical qualities. They start telling you food will heal you. Food isn't that smart. Food isn't going to heal you. Oh, food isn't even smart enough to make you sick. But some stuff just isn't meant to be inside of us. And it's like throwing orange juice in the gas tank of your car. It'll come up the works pretty effectively. Our system is incredibly intricate. It's incredibly delicate. Right? Expose yourself to one second of steam under pressure on your skin. And you don't have any skin. We're, we've all made mistakes that we wish we could call back. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Oh, it's going to pay for the next three weeks for that little error. Mm -hmm. It's going to pay for the next 40 years for that little error. Or whatever the little error was. It's a, as tough as our bodies are and as resilient as they are, you're as good as your weakest link. And your health hinges on the aspects of it that you tend not to put a lot of attention towards. Don't do as well as you could. But even in the topic of nutrition, Food. And that's very difficult for people to understand. And when we start to grasp a bigger picture of understanding how things work in our bodies and how things work in the world, it makes it far easier for us to avoid wool being pulled over, for us to lose track of what's going on. There are nutrients in food. Okay, no question. But many of the nutrients that we require don't come from food. Tim talked about vitamin P. Have you ever been sitting at a meal, having a nice time, probably with loved ones, but maybe not even, but with somebody. And unexpectedly, an argument erupts, and yeah. you lose your appetite. <laughs> or the food in your tongue just turns into a rock. And you go, oh, this is going to sit really badly. I'm really emotionally upset. Nutrition is not just the food you eat. Your mindset when you eat that food makes the world of difference. How many people make a little blessing before they eat their food? How many people prepare food for others with love, with intent, with intention for it to be nourishing to those people? Okay, maybe we're all living in the metaphysical woo-woo, and that stuff doesn't have any meaning. But maybe it does. And if it does, 
Because I think people can very easily sense your intent, your intention, your intent, your meaning behind what's going on, what you put behind your work. People look at my chicken scratch handwriting and they go, he's not really trying very hard when it comes to handwriting. Maybe he doesn't try that hard with other things. Or maybe he thinks other things are more important and handwriting is, you know, just not that important. There's, there's different ways to see it, but... It's not about the food you eat. That old thing, you are what you eat. You are what you eat, that you digest, absorb, and assimilate. That which your body chooses to allow to become you, the rest you eliminate. If you were what you ate, you wouldn't be eliminating all that crap. There's a lot of what you eat doesn't become you. Eat a roll of pennies. None of that becomes you. You know, if you eat dollar bills, dollar bills will come out. Why? Because the body does not make change. <laughs> you won't get a roll of pennies. When you breathe in, here in a lovely environment, beautiful, clean air, rain practically every day to clean the air some more, you're breathing in somewhere around 10,000 particles with every breath. In city environments, closer to 100,000 particles with every breath. Somewhere between 10, 15 breaths a minute for most people <coughs> at the time. It's a lot of particles. It's a lot of particulate matter. Almost all of that particulate matter is covered in bacteria. Lots. And the bacteria is covered with more bacteria. And probably that's covered with even more. And lots of that bacteria poops right there on the particles that you're breathing in. <laughs> and what if there's over a hundred different kinds of bacteria that poop B12? Yay! <laughs> you're breathing it in with every breath. But those same bacteria live inside your nasal passages and inside your throat passage. And when you're in civilized company and you don't feel like spitting, and you go, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you just took in B12. How much B12 does it take? We're talking angstrom units. And even then, that B12 didn't get into your system, it just got into your intestines. You then have to absorb it. You can block the uptake sites. You can hamper their ability. We watch people and I see people, you know, they go, oh, well, you know, I only eat 2,000 calories a day and I'm gaining weight and my friend is eating 4,000 calories a day and losing weight. How is it possible? Have you ever heard of malabsorption syndrome? Just because you eat it doesn't mean you absorb it. Swallow, instead of a roll of coins, swallow 20 or 30 almonds without chewing any of them. Okay, 20 or 30 cherries without chewing any little cherries. Grapes, grapefruit, champagne grapes. Doesn't matter what they are. If you don't chew them, if you don't break the skin, if you don't macerate the cellulose on the outside, if you don't 
kill your fruit before you eat it. Crush it like a bug. I wouldn't crush a bug, but I'll crush my fruit. If you don't break it down, you can't access the nutrients inside. You're going to poop whole almonds or whole grapes or whole cherries. If you choke on a cherry, don't tell people I said to try that experiment. What you do is you get someone else to try the experiment for you. Like I just did now. You, try it great. <laughs> but we don't, we can't break down cellulose. We don't have that ability. 